What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panthro Games, and in today's video, we're covering some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks and news. We're gonna be covering topics like the brand new Legendary Quartet, some Pokemon forms and what they could look like. We now know all of the Elite Four types as well, and much, much more. And of course, guys, if you like this type of video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And to begin, we got some more leaks from the game tester Kaka. Kaka actually has Scarlet and Violet and is currently playing the game and has beaten the game. And they have confirmed there is a new Pokemon that has a version exclusive evolution. This is actually not the first time we, that we have seen a version exclusive evolution in Pokemon. This actually happened in Sword and Shield with the Pokemon Appelin. Applin can become Appleton or Flapple, both of them being Grass Dragon, but they both have very different stats, abilities, and play styles to them. So I'm going to see that this is probably the exact same situation for Scarlet and Violet. It's going to be one Pokemon that's going to split off into two. And there is one Pokemon that has been leaked so far that we know has a split evolution or at least a split evolution with two forms. And that is actually the Pokemon we talked about in our last video, the Dolphin Pokemon. We know there is a Dolphin that evolves into two different Pokemon, but we weren't 100% sure in the translation if it's two Pokemon or two forms. For the sake of this argument, let's just say it's two different Pokemon. And we knew one was a Dolphin similar to this Yu-Gi-Oh card. It was bipedal. It looks more like a superhero type. And it definitely walks on land. So we're just going to have to wait and see when we get some more information on this Dolphin. But I'm still going to guess Water Fighting and then Water Psychic for the other Dolphin is where I'm looking. But I, I'm not a big fan of the split evolutions because this probably means that the evolution is going to be item based. Which means we're going to have to be trading over the item to another version. Of course, you can just trade over the Pokemon that evolved. It's going to be annoying to complete the decks. Not a big fan, but it is going to be an important decision making factor for a lot of people on whether they're going to pick up Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Not only did we learn about this, but we also learned about our headline story today. We learned about the new sub-legendary quartet. A quartet means there is four legendary Pokemon. This is going to be our dragon quatret. So we're going to be getting a white pearl dragon, a yellow dragon, a large great dragon, and a black dragon. These dragons are based off of the four dragons in China's lore. There was essentially no rivers at all, but there was these four great dragons, and the four dragons wanted China to prosper, so they spread themselves across the great nation of China, and they made these four massive rivers that currently run through China today. That's where this lore comes from, and these rivers are the dragons. So we know that these dragons are not dragon nor fairy type. I'm actually going to guess that they're all going to be monotype. I think they're all going to be monotype, and I do have a prediction for the typings. I think we're going to get a water dragon, then we're going to get an electric dragon, then we're going to get a flying dragon, and I think we are going to be getting an ice dragon. So I'm going to lock it in with those four. I think we're going to keep it nice and simple. And I am a fan of Quatrets over Trios just because it is more Pokemon, more lore. I do wonder if there's going to be a head dragon for all of these at some point. Maybe in the DLC we'll get a head dragon for this because there usually is a leader of these trios or quad trets. So we'll just have to wait and see. Or maybe the large great dragon will be the head dragon and maybe we'll have multiple types to it. But it is pretty interesting that they're not dragon nor fairy type. You would at least think that they would all at least be half dragon and all have a second typing associated with them as well. And we can actually see on the map here, this is where we're getting this information, that there is four different rivers coming from four different parts of the map. Actually, all pretty separated from each other. So this is really interesting stuff. So I bet each part of the map is going to be broken down into fourths and each one fourth of the map is going to have one sub dragon there so i bet this is the post game event as one of the big quests is like okay get all four of the dragons and those will probably lead to something or maybe towards the very end of the game i do think it's really cool and this map is so hyper detailed i do recommend checking out the 4k or 8k map i made a video on this in the past as well so definitely check that out too the leaker also confirmed the elite four typings and we already had the flying and dragon one confirmed last time i covered that in the last video but now we have the ground typing confirmed as well the leaker tweeted out an emoji of a desert in response to a question of what is the next elite four member so that is how we're getting ground type from that which is pretty funny because the three confirmed elite four types are all actually 
actually weak to ice. But funny enough, we already actually know what the last type is because of deduction skills. Since we know what the types of the gym leaders are, we know what the types of these elite four members are. And we also know that the elite four is using types that we've already seen in the past for elite fours already. So it's not going to have a fairy in it. It's not going to have a grass. It's not going to have an electric and it's not going to have a normal this can only lead to one other type, and the only type that can fit this is fighting. So our Elite Four is flying, dragon, ground, and fighting. So if you have an ice type, you're going to be destroying this Elite Four. You just got to watch out for the fighting one. So Satitan is actually going to be pretty viable. So if you want to have Satitan on your in-game team like I do, well, there you go. You're going to have a fun time against three of the four. I have a feeling the champion is just going to use a hodgepodge of a bunch of different Pokemon. Not going to actually follow a monotype, which I think a champion should. Champions should just follow some really cool Pokemon and just be a natural team and not be following a monotype because i do think the monotype stuff is a little bit lame for the champion overall one of our headline stories from the last video we talked about the new sushi dragon and we know the sushi dragon pokemon does not evolve but we didn't know that it was also a dragon and a water type which makes this pokemon actually incredible being dragon in water is so big because you remove the ice weakness and looking at Kingdra's here as an example, you can see that we're only weak to dragon and fairy, but we are resistant to steel, four times resistance to fire, four times resistance to water, and you're normally damaged by a lot. No immunities, but this typing is incredible. We've seen it on Kingdra. We've seen it on Palkia. This is incredible typing. This Pokemon may be really vi uh, viable if it has a big base stat total. If it's in the 500s, then Sushi Dragon Pokemon is going to be awesome. And maybe we'll make my team. I'm really excited to see what the official design of this Pokemon is. And especially what the shiny is. Because I think they can have a lot of fun with it overall. And we got more information on the coin Pokemon. Remember those videos I did in the past on the coin Pokemon and all those riddles? We actually finally got some hard information on it. The new coin Pokemon is a ghost type but it could have a second type we just don't know yet i'm still on the team that is a ghost steel type or at the very least it will evolve into a ghost and steel type and it has something to do with the towers so on the map there's a lot of towers around and we know that this game is going to feature a treasure hunt it was in the last official trailer that the main story is about a treasure hunt there is a coin pokemon and we're going on a treasure hunt I assume that those towers we going with Arvin, who's one of our rivals, is going to have the alpha Pokemon in it. And when we beat those alpha Pokemon in those towers, we are going to be getting a piece of treasure. And this treasure is going to relate to this new coin Pokemon. Once we have gotten every single last piece of treasure, we're going to be able to complete this coin Pokemon. It's going to evolve and it's essentially going to be like a spirit tomb type of Pokemon. But instead of being Ghost Dark, it's going to be Ghost Steel. That is my running theory right now with the coin Pokemon. And I think it's going to be a coin that evolves into a treasure chest like a mimic. I really hope it's true. I think it's very believable too from the leaks that we have seen from the Riddler coup. I want to believe that we're going to be getting a ghost into a ghost steal towards the end of the game. And I think that's going to be awesome. We also learned that Bisharp's evolution is going to sort of look like a Japanese samurai warrior, but not just some regular warrior, but like a commanding officer and an army. And I think this armor is sick. I'm a big fan. I honestly do think that Bisharp will probably get something like this on the top of its head there's a massive crested moon which i think would look super dope but i definitely get a king vibe i mean by sharp is based on a bishop so we already know it's gonna be chess like so either it's gonna be more rook based or maybe more king based or maybe even more queen based but it already fits what by sharp's current design is so i can see this becoming more of a japanese warrior which i think is sick i don't think it's gonna change this type i still think it's gonna be a dark and uh, steel type but I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with this. And even with Bisharp's new evolution not being good, it's still going to get an Eviolite as a middle evolution now. So that's going to be really interesting for competitive play. We also got a hint for the new giraffe Pokemon. And its name is going to be one of those names that are the exact same backwards and forwards. And funny enough, the new Giraffe Pokemon is actually just Giraffe Ridge's evolution, which Giraffe Ridge's name is already like that. So we're going to be doing another new one of those. And spoilers, if you haven't already seen the picture, here is Giraffe Ridge's evolution. This is the a real authentic picture of Giraffe Ridge's evolution. 
I think this is going to be sit pretty sick. Apparently, it's a pure psychic type poke, which I think is not great. I think psychic normal is way better than pure psychic, but hopefully, hopefully that's not true. Hopefully, it's like at least a psychic dark or something else, but pure psychic is just not great. It just really isn't, especially losing that ghost type immunity that draft Ridge originally has is pretty lame so now we have a pretty massive map leak with a legend right here so rither Koo tweeted out a whole key to the map and people spent time and figured it out and now we know where the gyms are now we know where the villain area is and we don't know what these jays are but we do have eight gyms and this is the starting school is right here so the starting town is at the bottom and we're going to work our way up to the school once we are done with school we're probably going to go to the left and from here, probably our first gym encounter. And we got another gym over here. This supposedly is going to be the electric gym down here as well. The big A's on the map are alpha Pokemon. So yes, alpha Pokemon are returning from Pokemon Legends Arceus. But you can see that we still have a couple of gyms over here. Two in the Ice Mountains. Couple of villain areas in the back right in the top. And then the back right where the clouds are. We don't know what the J stands for. And the stars stand for something to do with the plot. So big plot stuff in the center. I mean, that's not a big spoiler personally, because let's be real. This is the most autonomous looking clouded circle right in the middle of the map. And it's a massive, it's a huge crater. So of course, some plot stuff's going to happen here. But I think this is a really cool look at what to expect from this game. And one last thing, Riddler Koo says, basement gate flag stack with deaths below give you a kind of juvenile delinquent vibe, right? And you can see that there are deaths stacked underneath these flags, which is very interesting which is okay maybe this is a faction from the school the academy are going to and they made their own evil gang we don't know who the leader is i'm still guessing it's penny personally but this is a big hint yes this is ran by students the other important thing who said there was well this is basement flags what does that mean? Well, maybe we have to go underground and deal with the evil team. So this is why we don't see any landmarkers outside of these flags to highlight the evil team because we have to go underground to actually battle them. He also says we should pay attention to the issue of school bullying. So that's going to be a big theme for this game. There's going to be a lot of bullying. I wonder if Penny was bullied a lot and then eventually she became the evil team leader. I'm still sussy of her. I'm sorry, guys. I still think Penny is going to be the evil team leader or at the very least somehow related, maybe the brother or sister of the evil team leader. And then she gets pulled in through this whole dilemma. But we'll just have to see. But I definitely think the evil team is one of the three main stories. And there we have it, guys. That is another daily dose of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks. Let me know in the comment section below what type of leaks you are looking forward to the most for these games and i will definitely be trying to cover it and of course guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time peace out and have a great one